We asked Steve Hackett if Peter Gabriel actually reached out to him when he left Genesis. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Now remember on this channel, as you know, we clip interviews into different pieces. But guess what? We have another channel where we feature the entire interview. So if you want to see the entire thing, this eighth interview with Steve Hackett, there'll be a link in the description of this video where you can, uh, you can check it out. Did he contact you when you left Genesis before or after? Oh, I know. Well, we, 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 we talk and, and we've got a birthday coming up soon. So I shall, I'm going to phone him up. If he doesn't get to me first. Um, we wish each other a happy birthday. Mine's on the 12th of Feb, and his is on the um, on the 13th. So we share the same um, certain things, the rising sign as well. So we we um, we both have that. So you're an Aquarian. Yeah, Aquarian. Yeah, you know, for all that 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 means, you're Aquarian too. February 1st. Oh, well, yeah. there we are. Yes. But and when... so was Richie Havens. He was Aquarian, and so was. Um, a, a, a manager, a Aquarian, and so was Phil Collins. So we had three guys who were Aquarian in that band with an Aquarian manager. Extraordinary. As there were three Taurians in um, in King Crimson when it was John Wetton and, and Robert and, and Bill Bruford. Three Taurus, three Aquarians. What's going on here? You know, it's... But did he get a hold of you or when, when you decided to leave Genesis? Yeah. Did he, did he say, uh, how's it going? Are you doing okay? Were you guys in contact back then? Um, yeah, I think, I think we were uh, uh, from time to time. Um, and um, um, I'm trying to remember what the order of events was. I mean, certainly very shortly afterwards, um, we had a Genesis Reformation in the early 80s uh, to help the state of Peter's finances because he was heavily involved with WOMAD and it had lost a lot of money, although it was a great idea. Although, what, is this a one-off show? It was a one-off show that we had at Milton Keynes. And um, and then I, I did another charity thing myself and I asked Pete if he'd be involved. And then when Mike Rutherford heard that was happening, he said he'd like to be involved as well. So um, luckily, you know, we were able to do something and involve you know, future members of Marillion and Genesis and, um, yeah, you know, to make that, that, that effort. Was Steve um, Rothery part of that? Not at that stage. Um, uh, I came to know Steve, you know, later on and, and we're, we're, we're pals and we do hang out together and uh, we've been threatening to do something together for quite some time. I talked to him go, last week. He, he loves you, man. He loves you. That's all. I talked yeah, to him last week. He just loves you. He's a brilliant, he's a brilliant player, and um, they put on a great show, Marillion, um, um, and um, I think they're getting better all the time, you know, so um, uh, not everybody is winding down, you know, I know he's very proud of their new album, he was telling me that he feels it's really very good, um, and so I think, yeah, I suspect he's uh, I think he's onto onto a winner with that, but you know he's a very nice guy, as you can tell. And uh, again, very very modest. And um, his wife is named Joe as well, so you get the Steve and Joe show twice. You know, it's uh, when we get together. She's very sweet, as is my Joe as well. And um, and so, yeah, you, you probably read that same article in in in, in Progressive Magazine, Prog Magazine, about. He's doing an interview and talking about, you know, our wives are chatting away on one side of the table and there's other, and there's the two of us. He, he said, uh, talking about guitars and world domination. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah. We'll have more from Steve Hackett in the next two, three days. Keep in mind, if you want to see the entire interview, it's on her sister channel, Rock History Book. There'll be links in the description of this video. Also links to the top Genesis albums, a feature we did a few years ago, and the top 25 Genesis songs, another feature we did maybe four or five years ago. We put a lot of production into it, so check it out. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.